एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम now suppose i have a uh, number of branches in parallel maybe number of generators with different unequal impedances in parallel and i need to find out uh, uh, current in my load because of all these generators or sources or branches in parallel with different or unequal impedance in that case norton theorem is very helpful to find out overall current and overall impedance of the circuit this norton theorem is analogous to theorem which you watched in my previous video so both are analogous means both can be used to find out same load current with different technique of using these theorems hi i am professor anjali gar and welcome to s chand academy to know more about this topic you can refer to this book by s chand publishing the link to which is given in the description box below today video is on norton's theorem norton theorem is analogous to thevenin theorem this is different technique or you can say approached to find out current in the load systems there are certain different steps certain common steps also certain different steps to find out current in load circuit so the statements of norton say that any linear active bilateral dc network having number of voltage and current sources with resistance can be replaced by a single current source that is in in parallel with a single resistance rn so this is a difference between thevenin and norton theorem in thevenin we replaced the internal circuit by a voltage source in series with the resistance in norton theorem we we find out i norton and we connect this i norton in parallel with r norton that is norton equivalent circuit where i norton is known as norton equivalent current through the terminal now how i find out i norton i remove the resistance in which current is required and i place a short circuit in which i find out i norton or or i also call this i norton as i also call this i norton as i short circuit another name of i norton is i short circuit then r norton is a norton equivalent resistance which is seen from the open terminal where this load resistance is removed now to find out r norton we remove remove all the sources to remove all the sources means voltage source is short circuited and current sources is open circuit then the process is similar process is similar to r r thevenin process is similar to r thevenin that means if i solve a single circuit using both the technique that is thevenin and norton theorem i find out suppose i find out r thevenin i directly can write r norton is equal to r thevenin is equal to so value so and so value so i do not have to repeat the same process because the value is same the procedure is also same so these two methods are analogous because of their procedure to find out i l now using norton theorem this is my black box which consists of internal circuitry and this is the load load resistance in which i need to find out i i l so i convert this black box into a current source in parallel with the resistance so this is my equivalent circuit which i consist of current source in norton current in parallel with rn that is norton resistance so i replace back rl and find out current il in the circuit this is standard form this is called as equivalent circuit and any complicated circuit with n number of branches can be converted into a current source in parallel with the resistance so let me start with the steps i'll start with the same circuit which i used in uh, thevenin theorem and then we'll find the same current rl in uh, in rl let this is r1 r2 and this is voltage and my question is 
what is il so first step is remove rl and short circuit open terminals so first difference between thevenin and norton is in thevenin we said that remove rl and find out uh, we thevenin about the open terminal now we are short circuiting this open terminal so my circuit will become like this my circuit will become like this so these are my open terminals a and b where originally there was rl so now i had place the short circuit and i now have to find out i not an or isc in this short terminal so second step is find i not an or isc in short terminals a b now for this particular case for this particular example this is not standard or this particular example because the current coming from this side there is two paths one is of r2 another is short so there will not be any current in r2 so my this i not n will be i only so my i not n for this particular case will be i and this i is e by r1 so i am again stating that this is not the standard form for this particular case my my r2 is shorted because of this short circuit so there is no current in r2 and my current i will be equal to in so that i is v by r1 and this is my i not or for this particular example then third step is r not n for r not n we remove all sources and for removing all sources means we replace voltage source by short circuit and we replace current sources by open circuit so that means for r not n there will not be any source in the circuit so for this particular case now voltage source is, source is short circuited and current source is open circuit so i am getting now r not n like this as seen from the open terminal so for this particular case again i am stating for this particular case we can find out r not n as r1 and r2 in parallel so r1 into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 is my r not n for this particular example so now i have obtained now i have obtained r not n this one i have obtained i not n this one now the next step is next step is equivalent circuit so fourth is equivalent circuit so equivalent circuit means i connect i not n and r not n in parallel so this is my i not n this is my r not n they are connected in parallel across a b terminal so this is i not n i have obtained i i not i not n value i have obtained r n r not n value so i connect these two in parallel across the open terminal a and b last step is replace replace back rl and find il so i will replace now rl and find out current il using current division rule so my il will be il will be total input current using current division rule in into rn divided by rn plus rl using current division rule i can find out current in rn rl which is total input current 
into resistance of another branch divided by sum of resistance in parallel. So this is my IL. I can find out VL that is IL into RL. I can find out power that is IL square RL. So Norton theorem. So in Norton theorem, we draw equivalent circuit like this. This is I Norton and this is R Norton and we replace back RL and find out current I. Now take an example for Norton theorem, we can use even the same circuit which is used in Thevenin theorem to find out current. Now let my load current, load resistance is R2, this one and I need to find out current in this one. So first step is find out I Norton. For I Norton, this is my circuit, this is terminal A and B, and I have removed the resistance in which current is required that is R2. Then we will place a short circuit now. So this is first difference with respect to Thevenin theorem. I place a short circuit and I find out I Norton. Now for I Norton, there are two sources. The number of methods again to find out I Norton. One is superposition theorem, another is source conversion. So I can use any method. Even I can see that, suppose I use source conversion using this, so I will get now my current like this. So this is 28 by 4. This is 4, then short, then resistance of 1 and then current of 7 by 1 ampere. As discussed earlier also, my current is same. So I will add 28 by 4 plus 7 by 1 and all the both the resistance are in parallel. So my resistance will be 4 into 1 divided by 5, R1 into R2, R1 plus R2 and now I need to find out I Norton in this, I Norton and this. So using current division rule, I can find out I Norton. Even I can directly find out this, this whole current will flow like this, this whole current will flow like this, there is only one way. So my current will be 28 by 4, my current will be 7 by 1, you can see this is the current. So my I Norton my I Norton will be, because this is short, there will not be any current in this. So my I Norton will be 28 by 4, 4 plus 7. So this is 28 plus 28 by 4. I Norton will now be 14 amperes. So from any method, using any method, maybe this or using source transformation, superposition, any of the method will get the same current I Norton is equal to 14 amperes. Now second step is for R Norton. For R Norton, we remove all the sources. So I short circuit voltage source. I short circuit another voltage source. I need to find out R Norton. So this is 4 and this is 1. And we can see that 4 and 1 are in parallel. So 4 into 1 divided by 5. So 4 by 5 is my R Norton. So I now, uh, third case is equivalent circuit. For equivalent circuit, I connect, connect R Norton, that is 14 amperes in parallel with R Norton, that is 4 by 5 ampere uh, ohms in parallel across open terminal AB. So I replace back this 2 ohm, so this is 2 ohm and find out IL, so my IL will be 14 into 4 by 5 divided by 4 by 5 plus 2. So this is 48 divided by 14 is my answer. So this is how I am using the uh, Norton theorem. So what is the difference between Norton and Thevenin theorem? Only this equivalent circuit and the steps to find out this equivalent circuit. 
Now, one important thing is, suppose I have thevenin nickelin circuit. like this about a b terminal let this is 2 ohm let this is 10 volt now i can directly in one step in one step i can convert this thevenin equivalent circuit into norton equivalent circuit using source transformation using source transformation I can directly convert this thevenin equivalent into not an equivalent circuit where this this is my R thevenin this is my V thevenin now directly using source transformation this is my R thevenin which is R norton as discussed earlier my this is I norton is V thevenin divided by R thevenin. So, that will give me V thevenin by R thevenin 5 amperes. This will give me 2 ohms. So, in one step, I have obtained not an equivalent circuit using thevenin equivalent circuit and vice versa. That means, if I have not an equivalent circuit, because my thevenin and not an resistance are same, this is same. So, I will get this as 2 ohm and my V thevenin is I norton into R norton, so that is equal to uh, 5 ampere into 2 is 10 volt. So, I am getting 10 volt. So, this is how my norton and thevenin equivalent circuit can be interchanged or can be converted into one form to another form and vice versa using source transformation. So, you can also cross check if you are not confident with one of this method. So, let me uh, explain you about, uh, give you hint about practice question. This is one of the question which we solved in Thevenin theorem and you need to find out, suppose this is a question, you need to find out current in this, then remove this and short circuit and find out current in this short circuit to get I norton. For R norton, you short circuit uh, this and find out R norton as seen from the terminal. For this particular case, question is what is IL? So, remove this, place a short circuit and find out this. Now, you can use source transformation because both are in series and then can find out directly. For this particular case, short circuit it, find out I norton. Again, you can see this is in parallel source transformation and rest again source transformation till you finally get I norton. So, this is all about Norton theorem. So, Norton theorem is you uh, solve the complicated circuit where you convert any of uh, the complicated circuit uh, with internal circuit. Internal circuit means except load resistance, rest of the circuit is called as internal circuit. So, you, re you replace the internal circuit by a current source in parallel with the resistance, where the current source is called as Norton current and you find out Norton current by removing, removing the load resistance and placing a short circuit. And R Norton in parallel means R Norton is where there is no source, voltage source short circuit, current source open circuit. Then we connect back RL and we find out current IL using uh, so, uh, current division rule. So, this is all about Norton theorem. This is analogous to Thevenin theorem where you can directly convert Thevenin to Norton equivalent circuit using source transformation and vice versa. To know more about this topic, you can refer to this book by S. Chan Publishing. The link to which is given in the description box below. If you found this video interesting, then like, share and subscribe this channel and press the bell button for updates. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.